Hello and welcome to the demonstration of VidSnatcher. This demonstration was produced using VidSnatcher's text-to-speech. This is such a powerful feature that we will dive into more a bit later. Okay, let's get started. I want to point out that there are training videos on everything we're about to go over right here. So you always have a helpful reference if you ever have questions about how to use features in VidSnatcher. So first, we need to log in. Once we're logged in the first step is to select the canvas size of the video we want to create. A 1 to 1 ratio is very popular for videos shown on social media, and a 16 to 9 ratio is your standard video size. For this demo I am going to select the standard size. So, now we're in the editing dashboard of VidSnatcher. As you can see, it is an open canvas video editor with complete editing flexibility. At any point if you need to adjust the video size or canvas color, you can go right here to project properties. Change canvas size by selecting a preset size or entering a custom size to suit your specific need. Easily change the color right here. Now, on to the fun part. In order to create a video, we must add media. You can add media from your computer such as video, music, images, even animated GIFs. Let's go ahead and add some so you can see how it works. I'm going to select this video, and you see the upload progress in your media bin right here. Once it's uploaded you can simply drag and drop it into the timeline. I am going to upload an image as well, so I can show you how media within the timeline interacts. Now I'll drag and drop the image into the timeline. There we go, now you can see how easy it is to drag the media around. You can shorten it like this. You can split media in half. Place the timeline marker where you want to split the media. Then click the break icon. Voila! You now have two separate pieces of media. You can copy, cut and paste media, as well as undo and redo any changes you make, all right here within the timeline. You can zoom in and out on the timeline for even more detailed editing. Add more layers for additional media, as well as hide and lock media within each layer for a better editing experience. I'll go ahead and hide this layer. You see, now the content is gone. And this is how you lock the media. It makes it easy to edit without affecting media you don't want to alter. As you can see it is a very straightforward, intuitive, editing interface. Another way to add media is to create it directly from the VidSnatcher dashboard in the form of screen record and voice record. To show this, I am going to start a new project. These are the tools that will be extremely helpful to you when you're creating any type of training and tutorial videos. First let's look at the screen capture since it's most important. Simply click record screen right here. It will give you the option to disable your mic if you don't want sound, as well as the options to record your full desktop screen. Or you can record a specific tab open on your computer. Let me show you. If using Chrome it will give you the option to record the full desktop, a specific tab, or a specific application window. In this case, I am going to take a screen record of the VidSnatcher training video page. Just click, share. And we're off. I am now recording this page. I have full functionality over the page while it's recording. Perfect for how-to, and training videos. Once you're done recording, press the stop button at the top of the page, and the file automatically starts converting in your media bin. It will take a little bit of time to process, but then it's ready to use in your video. Very nice. The voice record works the same way, you can press record, and record your voice. You can even press play on the timeline while it's recording. So if you wish to speak along with media already on the timeline you can do it seamlessly, and it will match up perfectly. So once you click to stop the recording, it will automatically process in your media bin. But, what if you don't want to record your voice, or speak in the videos you create? This is where a robot like me comes in handy. This is the very powerful, built-in text-to-speech feature with language translation that really elevates VidSnatcher above other open canvas editors on the internet. Getting started, simply click the speaker icon here to access text-to-speech. Now watch. Type in what you want to say here. Then select the language you want to use. You can see just how many languages there are built into VidSnatcher.
Let's choose Japanese. Once the language is selected, click Translate. You can see it translates it in the text box. Now you can scroll down and pick a voice type. There are two options standard, or wave which is more advanced, but limited on languages. For this demo, we will use the standard voice. So the language is Japanese. Then, I can choose between a male or female voice. I will select female. Some languages, like English for example, open the option to select different accents, like my voice. It is in English language with Australian accent. The Japanese accent is the default in this case. Once you've selected those settings, simply click to search voices. Two different voices populate. I can select and listen to either one before I import it into my media library. I am going to select the second option and add it to my media library. You can see just how powerful that is, in that you can create videos in so many different languages and reach audiences around the world. The first time ever this can be done with an open canvas video editor in the cloud. Now since we are in the cloud, I am going to save my work. You'll want to save frequently, as you never know when there may be a bad internet connection. Now that I've saved my project, I can show you another really neat feature that is unique to VidSnatcher. You can actually share media directly from your media bin. So VidSnatcher can work like we transfer to send media files, but it's directly through the VidSnatcher dashboard. I simply click the share button, here. Give it a name, and click generate shareable link. I can then copy the link and send the URL to anyone for an instant download. That's such a neat feature. I am going to go ahead and export this video to show you how that works, before I move on to the green screen editing feature in VidSnatcher. After the project is saved, I simply click export. The video gets put into queue and starts rendering. At this point you can close your browser, and your computer, and the process will continue. You'll receive an email as soon as your video is available for download. If you want to check the progress of your video, you can click my video right here and follow real time how far along your video render is. It's that simple. We've just gone through adding media, creating media with screen and voice records, easily sharing media, adding text to speech and language translation, how easy it is to use the editing tools and move media around the timeline, as well as saving and processing your work. It's just amazing how much you can do with VidSnatcher. And ladies and gentlemen after all of that there's even more to show you. Let's open another project and look at the green screen removal feature. I've already added this green screen video of Todd. Now watch how simple this is. First, add the video you want to remove the green screen from, to the timeline. It may take a little bit of time to get the video ready for green screen removal, depending on the speed of your internet. Then, select the media, and click remove green screen, here. Use the color picker to choose the green color you want to remove just like this. Let's leave the default settings for now and click apply changes, then we can go back and make edits and keep applying the changes until we get the result we want. So there's still a bit of green showing, let's move the similarity and the blend up a bit and see what that does. Perfect. Then just click save changes and the background removal process starts. So incredibly easy. Now let's take a look at even more neat things you can do to your videos. You can add icons to your videos, search by keyword and simply drag the image into the timeline. You can even edit the size and position of the icon directly in the preview window. Change the properties of the icons over here if you'd like. You can add text overlays as well.
Let's go wild and translate to Chinese. You can translate, change fonts, color, and size. And we can add that to the timeline. Again, you can change the text effect in this window here. Add different shapes too, and edit and change them however you wish. And of course transitions, you can add fade in effects, fade out effects, for media objects, and sounds. You can actually see how the object will enter or exit the video when you click the corresponding transition. You can even upload subtitles to use in your videos. Just fantastic. That's Vid Snatcher in a nutshell. It's limitless in what you can do with your videos using Vid Snatcher. The complete open canvas with timeline editing makes it extremely flexible and the amazing features really send this cloud-based app over the top. For the low one-time price this is today, you must take advantage, especially since it is the commercial version you're getting. Thanks for taking the time to check out Vid Snatcher, and I hope to see you inside, and make sure you use my voice. I think I sound fabulous, don't you agree?